one of Magic Player's favorite lines is, a deck can contain any number of this card. So today, we're playing like 13 Slimes Against Humanity. <laughs> All right, welcome back, Vintage Gamers. There is a common from one of the latest sets that has uh, sparked Brewer's curiosity, and that is Slime Against Humanity. Two in a green sorcery. Create a 0-0 zero, zero green ooze token with trample. Put X plus one plus one counters on it, where X is two plus the number of cards you own in exile and in your graveyard that are oozes or slimed against humanity. You can have any number of slime against humanity. One of the cool interactions here is if you serum powder and exile a bunch of slime against humanities, it pumps your other slime against humanities. Very cool interaction. If you were to surgical extraction some of your slimes, it will pump your future slimes. Uh, so lots of interesting ideas on making large ooze creatures. I did notice that this said any that are oozes. So we could theoretically play some scavenging oozes. Let's do that. That sounds like a banger. I didn't read that part until right now. Do I have any scavenging oozes? I have some. Oh, I got I got some scavenging oozes. Let me tell you. All right, let's let's sub out some endurances for some scavenging oozes. That seems like a good time. I mean, endurance is probably a lot better. But what if instead we played four scavenging ooze in our sideboard? You know, <laughs> uh, hollow one. Unfortunately, not an ooze, so we cannot partner with our umari um umori. That would be pretty cool, though. I think I tried to make it so the deck is as playable as possible. Uh, so what we're going to try to do is we can also discard slime to our bazaar. If we're going to play bazaar, you know, if we're going to play serum powder, we might as well play bazaar. And if we're going to play, or maybe the other way around. <laughs> uh, and if we're going to play bazaar, we should play hollow one. It's our free attacking creature, very broken. Uh, if we're going to play this many green cards, vigor definitely makes sense. Uh, and of course, wasteland and strip mine. To facilitate casting our slimes, we've got Ancient Tombs, Tropicals, Besages, Chrome Moxes. Exiling a slime to a Chrome Mox will make other slimes larger. Uh, feel pretty free to fit in Surgicals. I do think Time Walk seems very important in this deck, being able to attack uh, twice with your slimes. So we do have a uh, Time Walk and Ancestral Splash as well. 13 is the number of slimes I was able to fit in this deck. I don't know if it's possible to fit more. We could probably cut some surgicals and play some slimes, but I feel like the idea of, you know, surgically some slimes seems really fun to me. And also, you know, it's not a bad card to have in your main anyways. And then, uh, yeah, we got collector groups in the board. Um, our deck will be a little less good at casting. Actually, maybe with Chrome Mox and stuff, maybe it'll be better at casting collector roof. I, collector roof should probably be in the main of this deck. However... To fit the requisite number of slimes, you have to make cuts. So I've decided to put the oozes and the oofs and the poisons. Pick your poison. Cool new card here as well. Uh, and, and other interaction like that into the sideboard. Uh, I think this is a sufficient number of slimes to make me happy. Maybe it's not. But we always have Bizarre to pitch cards and find more one, more cards. So I'm excited. I think this might work. And it might just do nothing and die. That's kind of the bridge you... Uh, you walk across when you do these vintage brews. And uh, recently, we've been doing very poorly with <laughs> with our for fun brews. <laughs> we had a really rough Wednesday night last week. But this this one, this one, you know, it's got bizarre bag day. How bad can it be? See you in round one. Have you ever wanted to win your own real Black Lotus? The legendary NYSE Vintage Tournament returns this June 22nd on Long Island in New York. 15 proxy high stakes paper vintage action with eight whole pieces of unlimited power as prizes. You are not going to want to miss it. Check out more information in the description below. I hope to see you there. Let's battle. All right. Welcome to round one. How many slimes are going to be on our opener? Oh, oh opponent's got a cat. That's a good sign. That's a, that is a good sign. We can, oh, we can start with a nice serum powder, some slimes away. Beautiful. I would like to use my powder. Uh, I can play a slime on turn one. And the slime on turn one is a 5-5. Five five. Yeah, why not? That's what we're here for. <laughs> ah. 
So that's what we're here for. And we can we can always cycle our hollow one too, so no worries. Technically, we're pretty close to casting hollow one, right? Just a couple more mana. All right, all right. Hopefully this resolves. Mox Emerald. Ancient Tomb. Slime against humanity. Survey says. <laughs> we got a reader. That's, this is exactly how I wanted to start the stream, so perfect. Boom! We got a 5-5. Five five. <laughs> Hold on. This is worth taking a picture, I think. I think this is a good way to bring people to the stream. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What? Hello? There we go. All right. F6. Well, I'm pretty happy about that. Gataxian Probe sees my hand, says, what the hell, man? Ah, that's a pretty good start. <laughs> I'm, I, okay, all right. Ooh, where's a Saga? That one, not, not effective. Not effective here. Oh no, Mox Opal. Okay, so they're the combo version. They knew my hand when they played the Urza Saga. They could taxi and probe me here, so. I can, uh, Tropical Island Time Walk cast Hollow One. No, no, no. I'm, I'm pretty sure we're casting. Oh my lord. What's the best play? What is the best play? Well, it's not Luris. I think it's P.O. They can't remove this unless they put a repeal in their deck, like I told people to do. I mean, they both kind of threaten lethal, right? If they have a Flusterstorm, we get to Wasteland them. So I think this play makes sense to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I guess if they get a basic, I don't get to wasteland them. Okay, smart smart play from the opponent. I guess playing... I, the thing is, like, the time walk wasn't lethal, though, right? So. Alright. I think that's fine. I don't want to show them the tropical island yet, either. Time Walk is now lethal, though. So next turn, we can cast Time Walk. Okay. This slime is, like, a significant amount of pressure. It's like a hollow one, basically. <laughs> oh, I probably should have wastelanded in my upkeep or whatever. This, like, makes them spin, right? Or do they have the repeal? Okay. So now we just cast the time walk and hope it wins. Well, they had a negation. There wasn't a negation in my list. So they might have a repeal now. If it's like the newer list that I was working on. Uh, what can my hollow one actually get me? A black lotus, I guess? Uh, 
Oh, <laughs> yeah, that one's good too. Yeah. Okay. That is a good one. That's like my one piece of interaction in my entire deck. Do you have a PO? Last card PO? Damn, this 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 worked. Let's go. <laughs> They're going to draw with Sensei's top without making a mana with Opal. Uh I don't get it. What does this do? It gets an ancestral recall. It gets a brainstorm. Okay, we didn't even have to show them Vigor. Nice. All right, chat. Four Collector Oof are coming in. And then Pick Your Poison looks pretty good, too. That's a lot of interaction. I don't need Surgical. Um, I guess we have to cut Slimes, though, right? What if we, like, cut Hollow One Bizarre? Well, we kind of want Mind Break Traps, too, don't we? What if we were just, like, cut Hollow One Bizarre? Is that silly? I mean, it is silly. But is it correct? Hollow One Bizarre and a Slime? Keep maximum Slimes? I don't think we want scavenging ooze. I think I think this makes sense to me. Oh wait, that's not that's too many cards. All right, we'll, we'll keep a slime and we'll keep a scooze. I think I think taking out bizarre and hollow one. Yeah, that's a very normal sideboard plan. Just cut bizarre hollow one. Yeah, normal, very normal. It'd be good, though, if my opponent, like, brings in, like, Graveyard Hate or something. Or, like, Needles Bazaar. So I can powder this... Oh, God. I can powder this hand. I lose my Black Lotus. Hmm. I think it's correct. I think it's... I think this is correct. I think it's correct to powder this hand. Throw three slimes into exile. And I, we lose Ancestral and Lotus, but those are not the most important cards here. So I want to powder this yeah yeah this hand's way better oh my god yes yes okay deck's great oh my wait does this deck just slap i just serum powdered a, an ancestral recall lotus hand for fun <laughs> and i think it was right when has it ever been correct to serum powder away ancestral recall black lotus that is, that is, that is wild. All right. We got to figure out what our first play here is going to be. Serum powder, not the strongest draw. Do I want to get slimy? Runs into fluster so badly. ever man that's why we're here slime <laughs> boom five five turn one two for two we're two for two on turn one five five trampler If you repeal me, I will be very angry at you. Oh, snuff out. <laughs> yeah, sure. Not bad, not bad. I was wondering what was going on. They brought in they brought in the removal spells. It's okay. We have 
that, that means one less snuff out on our collector roof. This does mean we don't have any bazaars to pitch our serum powders, though. Which is kind of upsetting. All right, here's my mana crypt. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Blue. Maybe just buy Luris. Uh huh. Uh huh. Wasteland. Hmm. I think I want to play Collector Oof. Doesn't mean if they have like a underground so they can play their Luris, but how do we make a five five on turn one? We cast the spell. And made a five five on turn one. Easy. Now we we it counts things in exile. So we serum powdered away three slimes and we made a, a five five. Do you have another removal spell? Island cycle. Okay, so they can play Luris this turn, but they don't have anything to buy back with Luris. If they get a dress down, though, I guess that's pretty problematic, right? Not that big a deal, though. No, no, no. Slimes in the sideboard are in the sideboard. I, I exiled slimes to serum powder. I think I think a Luris is a huge deal here. It's not good for me, but if they have a Luris and a dress down, things get a lot better. Did I even, like, have any removal in my deck that kills a Luris? Not really. I could have brought in scavenging oozes to eat things out of the yard. I did bring in a scavenging ooze. But I have Force of Vigor, so I'm not, like, super worried about Dress Down Loop at the moment. All right. Well, I'm going to Wasteland the Salarian Academy to start here. And then I'll take two to play out the Serum Powder. And then I'll just hold the oof back. If my opponent wants to trade Luris for oof, I think we're allowed to do such a thing because we have these vigors. They got nine. They've lost all their crypt flips so far. Saga Gaming. All right. Well, we have a vigor target here. They only have two cards in hand. They have three mana. They do have Hardcast Negation, I guess. We are one green mana away from hard cast Force of Vigor, which would be pretty nice. Ooh, okay. So now are we risking it for the Biscuit, where we cast a full cost Vigor on their Saga? I don't think so. I think what we'll do is we'll just strip mine the Saga. Uh, I, I just think it it it's too risky to like run into a Negation. I guess a Negation not that big a deal, but like, I just think if I get flustered or negated, I would be pretty upset. And then we can like untap, cast vigor, full cost, kill these things. What's this? Dismember, maybe? Oh, Orcish Bowmasters. Okay, I mean, that's pretty good with Luris. Okay, so they're their own little version of my deck because I don't believe I had a negation in the main and I kept in, they've left in Bowmasters. So, okay. Kind of need to draw a slime against humanity, actually, is what we really need. A 6-6 six, six seems pretty unbeatable. Good news is that we have, uh, like, 12 more slime against humanities in our deck, so. Or maybe it's, like, 11 or 9 or... It's more than any other card, I can tell you that much. <laughs> It's not really about winning. The Bowmaster is more about giving you time. Uh, and it's also about... Um, it does en enable a Twister kill, which is I, has come up a lot. So, I, I don't know. It's a big question in my mind right now. Like, is the Bowmaster worth it? Okay, they have one card. I don't even know if I want to kill this Mana Crypt. Like, it's killing them, right? Pick your poison? Ooh, it didn't actually do anything because I killed their Saga. All right, well, I am just going to hold down the fort. I can't really block much at the moment. I kind of need another slime. My slime getting snuffed out was not ideal. 
I, they want to flip this time. I can't block this Bowmaster because if I block the Bowmaster, they replay the Bowmaster and kill my collector group. It's very bad for me, uh, which is why I didn't block the Bowmaster before. They could also like attack with this army token, and that would like, you know bluff that they have another bowmaster. In which case, it's very hard for me to block it. So, I, if I were them, I might even consider attacking with the army token. Though the army token gives them like a way to block on attack backs, and it kind of represents the same thing. Oh, another good reason to board out black, uh, not black lotus. Uh, another good reason to board out the bazaar of Baghdad is my opponent's playing the orcish bowmaster. So we don't even get to, we don't even have to deal with the orcish bowmaster bazaar Baghdad interaction. That's kind of nice, actually. This whole... I, I like it. I like it. Mm-hmm. All right, they won another flip, but they, they lost so many flips in a row. It's it's okay. Two cards in hand. We need a slime. Hello. It's a slime time. I hope we don't get Flusterstorm. It'd be sad. If this resolves, though, we're cooking. We are in good shapes. 6-6 six, six Trampler. Looks like they have a counter spell. I thought they might have a negation. That's kind of how they position this game. It makes a lot of sense that they had a negation in their hand. That did cost us two life. We're racing against their mana crypt. Oh. Did not lose that flip again. I really regret uh wastelanding this saga, but if I had negated if they if I had forced it and they had negated me, it would have been really, really, really bad. So I think I made the right play. It just so happens that it would have been a lot better for me if I had been able to, like, pick your poison the saga. All right, they're still making a coward's attack. It's a close race. So I don't know what to do from here. Soul Ring, sure. I really just need more slimes. Aha! It's just great when you have 14 copies in your deck and it's the card you need. All right, now we have a 7 7 trampler. It's a 7 7 trampler because this one's in the great. Oh my god. Wait, now we're just, just straight up winning by a lot. <laughs> they lost a flip. They're at six. That'd be a, this is, <laughs> I'm having fun. Okay, Urza's Bobble, Mishra's Bobble, I should say, turned off. One card left in their uh, hand. We have a 7-7 seven, seven Lethal Ooze. They can block with both the Bowmaster and the Token to not die this turn. But I mean, we're getting in there, right? 100%. I guess, theoretically, we could attack with the oof as well. But that doesn't look as good. Let's just get in there with the ooze. I assume they just double block, and then they'll replay the Bowmaster on their turn. But it doesn't actually change anything, unless they draw with Twister. But then they can't cast Twister and cast the Bowmaster. Yeah, they have to double block here, and then they go to one, and they might even die to their Mana Crypt. And I don't even lose my ooze. Does it make sense for me to play out my spirit guide? I lose a two life. I go to three. I don't know. Holding up double vigor might just be better. But if they attack, I have to kind of block and then it's not good, right? So let's go casting spirit guide. I said I don't have to block. Whatever. They're going to lose to their flip anyways, right? So, ah, they won. I mean, they have to answer a bunch of things now, so.
Like, they can replay a Bowmaster here, but that just, like, uses up all their mana and doesn't actually protect them from ooze. Killing off Academy early prevents a lot of the ways they would, like, be able to sneak out of this game. Weird deck. I like it. I think we're getting the GGs. GGs. Ha <laughs> ha! One and zero! That's already better than my entire last stream. You do love to see it. All right, round two. We're up against another Luris deck. I think it's another Luris PO deck, if I had to guess. Uh, this hand, unfortunately, does not have a Serum Powder, so no big slimes, but we do have a Bazaar Baghdad, so we keep. Hopefully our opponent's hand is not too strong. We don't currently have a uh, Force of Vigor in our hand. Is our best piece of interaction, of course. Are they going to bobble me? Bobble me. I wonder what they see. I wonder what they see. Uh, I mean, this is a solid start, I must say. Not a bad one. They saw a Wasteland. All right, well, I'm going to play Bazaar of Baghdad and activate my Bazaar of Baghdad. Ooh, a Vigor is a good one. Uh, I am going to pitch... Hmm, Chromox... Tropical and the Wasteland. Leaving myself the ability to slime next turn. The slime I pitched to Force of Vigor also counts. I think I'm going to hit the Jet and the Pearl here. It's too powerful. It's just too on-color Moxon. I, 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 I don't think I want that in play. They have the Force. All right. Got rid of a dress down, but my opponent can go Luris Bobble here. Things are definitely bad. My opponent's hand is just extremely powerful. Multiple on-color Moxon to cast Luris. Oh, they're just going to PO? I mean, we were never beating three-card PO with Force Backup, no matter what we did. So, we got Vintage. Happens. Post-board, we got a lot of good answers, though, so... Mm-hmm. All right, so six cards in my opponent's hand. A black lotus. I think we're going to activate because we can uh, pit find more slimes. Ooh, not great. Uh, would I rather go tomb spirit guide slime or just go lotus slime? I think I'd rather go tomb spirit guide slime because it lets me... Well, it doesn't let me do anything, really. Uh, I mean, none of it's good. None of it is good. I feel like I'd rather have a land in play, though. But I could just instead go Tropical Island, uh, Lotus Slime. Seems a little bit better. See if this resolves before we make an attack. I see. Oh, oh, it got countered. All right. Well, my opponent had just pitched a dress down loop. But the problem is, like, they can counter whatever they want. They have a draw, extra card draw every turn with Luris Bobble, and we don't really have any way to stop that. It's likely my opponent's is more on uh, on the the cuff here than my last PO opponent. They're probably not playing Bowmaster. They're probably playing the newer build. So we could theoretically keep in Bazaar, but probably make the same board plan as last time. If we want to board in all these hateful pieces, we just gotta, we just gotta go. I, I'm gonna concede, chat. My opponent just got an Ancestral Recall. They have an active Saga. They have Luris Bobble. I, I, I don't, I don't really see, I don't really see a path forward here. Let's see if I draw Ancestral Recall, I guess. Yeah, almost. 
I'm going to concede. I think we're going to lose this game, and maybe it'll take a couple turns and 100 game actions, but uh, I think we're I think we're off it. All right, so we're going to make the same plan as last time. We're going to board out Hollow One, and we're going to board out Bazaar of Baghdad, and we're going to board in Scavenging Ooze, Collector Roof, Pick Your Poison, Tropical Island, or sorry, Mind Break Trap. That was too many cards, right? It wasn't Scavenging Ooze. It was Mind Break Trap, Pick Your Poison. Oh, the Surgicals were gone, and then we kept one Scavenging Ooze. The, the, the good-looking Scavenging Ooze. The nice old frame. All right. Yeah, Scavenging Ooze not being able to eat Mishra's Bomble is... Wait, no. Ooze can eat Mistress Bobble. What are you talking about? It's not Ooze that can't eat Mistress Bobble. It's uh, Deathrite Shaman that can't eat Mistress Bobble. You, you almost scammed me there, chat. It almost got me. Don't worry. I'm thinking of my toes. <laughs> is, is that the... <laughs> Oh, it's so funny. It's a parody account, but. <laughs> I just saw this while I was while I was trying to get people to come to the stream. <laughs> uh, Twitter is a Twitter has sometimes has some things that are fun. All right. What do we got? Looking for collector oofs. I'm looking for vigors. I'm looking for slimes. We've got collector oof. This kind of stinks, honestly. This kind of stinks. I guess we can chrome box a pick your poison and play a collector roof, but uh, I kind of hate it, to be honest. Kind of hate it. Yeah, I'm going to mulligan this hand. I, I, I just don't think this is good. Better. Well, we're going to powder it, I think. Well, maybe we're not supposed to powder it. We just get the bottom of serum powder, and then we keep slime plus pick your poison. This, how big is this slime? The slime is a 1-1. One, one. No, no. It's 2. It's a 2. It's a 2-2. Two, two. Mm, losing emerald tomb is, like, not ideal. Let's just powder, though. Let's find something better. Uh Oh, we can keep something in our deck. We can keep the emerald in our deck. Seems good. Let's do that. Powder. Oh, that hand has no mana. Okay. Well, let's mulligan. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. I guess we went too far. Uh, I could keep this and just like put two cards away and have double vigor. And then try to draw Greenland. But we did just powder away <laughs> multiple Greenland. Is it going to four better? I mean, we probably want to keep Oof, actually. So we just, like, put away two slimes. Put away a Vigor and a slime. Yeah, I, would, I mean, it's fine. We'll just draw the green, the green source. It's okay. We went too deep. We dug too greedily. I think our, our luck ran out, unfortunately. Oh, my opponent gets to see exactly what we're working with for free. Totally balanced magic card, by the way. Zero mana. Look at your hand for free. Replace the card. Totally reasonable. Good printing. Time walk. Thing in the ice? All right. Our opponent was ready for the slime matchup. This is unfortunate. I don't think we can beat anything in the ice. Realistically. <laughs> realistically, our deck has negative chance of beating a thing in the ice. Do we want to play a slime? Is a slime big enough? How big is a slime? The slime is only a 3-3. Three, three. That is not big enough. Until I vigor first. So I guess we are going to instead play a collector roof. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Our, our opponent teched their deck out just to beat slime tokens. It's fine. Oh, they had force. Sick. Notably bad for me. <laughs> Not notably awful for me. It's okay. My opponent will play a uh, saga. We'll vigor it. We'll grab a green source and we'll play a four four. Uh, 
it is two plus the number of total cards you own in exile in your graveyard, which would be three plus um, Nidium. They did not play a Saga. Unlucky. A Needle. <laughs> Name Bazaar? Name Bazaar? They don't know about the sideboard plan? This is what happens when you're not on the stream. You gotta be stream sniping. Come on now. <laughs> you fool. All right, second green source off the top. Mind break trap. Not great. Not great. I mean, uh, yeah. Are they gonna PO? You can't really beat a PO, but they, if they just PO on my turn, I really can't beat a PO. I guess, wait, this is the first spell, so I can't even trap them if I, like, go for an end step Vigor. They're going to cast Yogmoth's Will. Well, that's unfortunate. So they get to cast Cataxium Probe. So if I, if I let them cast Cataxium Probe and then I Vigor their two Moxen, does that help me? Yeah, I mean, I guess it's fine. They, they're almost flipping this ice. I think flipping this thing is better for me than not flipping this thing, though. Because if they flip it, then I can actually play some slimes without being scared. Gotta hold that one for a saga. I think we are extremely dead. Uh-huh, uh-huh. P.O. your needle so that you can, uh... Wait, they haven't even played their stupid Luris yet. Mwah. P.O. P.O. Oh, dig, dig through time? Yeah, all right. You got a 7-8. It's okay, though. I don't, no slimes were harmed in the making of this horror. That's all that matters. Though, I guess if it hits me for 7, I go to 11, and then I go to 9. I have to, like... Draw a green source, play a slime against humanity, draw a slime against humanity, and cast a second slime against humanity so I can then block. It's not a good outlook. All right, we're dead. All right, we 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 got the other side of the variance, I would say. <laughs> okay, here we go. Round three against Fire Truck, known bizarre gamer. We are also a bizarre gamer, somewhat. Uh, this seems like a keep to me. Seems like a keep. Oh, yep, there are they are a bizarre game. What? The, what is that? My opponent has Orborg, Serum Powder, Grief, Blazing Rootwalla, Cabal Pit. What is going on over there? What? What is happening? You see, opponent is a. I was going to say less. <laughs> they need a bizarre more than we do. I guess every bizarre deck needs bizarre more than we do. <laughs> We're just going to exile a slime to a chrome box and cast a slime. <laughs> All right, my opponent has mulligan to two magic cards, it looks like. If, if slimes can't beat two magic cards... I mean, so far, so good. It hasn't been a bad league so far. All right, opponent is debating whether to keep their two-card hand. They have kept their two-card hand. All right. I'm going to play a Chrome Mox, and I'm going to exile a Slime Against Humanity. And then I'm going to play Ancient Tomb and cast Slime Against Humanity and make a 3-3. Three, three. Two plus the one slime in exile. Okay. I am doing the math right, so that's good. All right. They do have a bazaar, and they activate their bazaar up to four down to one. Slime is currently... Oh, there's a Poxwalkers. Okay. All right. Null Rod and Poxwalkers. Opponent is Bruin. We got a, we got a Rootwalla bringing back a Poxwalkers. Okay. We're pretty close to casting this hollow one. Oh, or, or, hear me out. Hear me out. We play a slime. <laughs> Get in there. 
I believe we have uh we have successfully made a bigger board than them. I, I, this is uh, this is pretty nice. Death touch is good against our slime. This is true, but we could just seriously I don't know. It's fine. It's not a big deal. We have trample. All right, my opponent has one card in hand. They did not activate on upkeep. They drew for turn up to two, up to four, back down to one. See what they find. Uh, Null Rod. Hawkswalkers again. And a Wasteland. And another Bazaar? Oh, opponent is going off. This is the best multitude of their lives. They hit a Root Wallow off this Bazaar activation. They return the Boxwalkers. It'd be a big game. Draw. <gasps> a slime against humanity? <laughs> Who could have seen this coming? <laughs> Get in there. <laughs> Wait, this thing is so sick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Take a million. Uh huh. Boxwalkers is really good. I'm just waiting till they fix the bug with Boxwalkers before we play it. All right, they're at 10. And I also have a slime. <laughs> Yeah, currently every Warhammer 40k card does not appear on the lists. Like the the the, the, pithing, the pithing needle list, the Cabal therapy list is the big one. So you can't Cabal therapy your own Poxwalkers into your yard, which is a really big problem. All right, opponent's dead on board, right? I have uh, five, nine, twelve. Currently lethal. They got a Hogak. I'm, I'm beating a Hogak, though, right? No. They block, and they take seven, and they go to three, and then they die. They're dead. They're dead. <laughs> three bazaars don't care. <laughs> what is this? What is this? What is this mismatching bazaar art? It's like a $2 card. Time walk. This is the reason I splash blue. This is the reason I splash blue. Time walk is so good in this deck. Wait, that was a pretty good mold of two from my opponent, though, right? All right, so I'm going to bring in additional surgical extractions and additional scavenging oozes. I realized in my deck I have no way to remove creatures. That's probably fine. We don't need vigors, right? That doesn't seem necessary. Uh, we don't need... I guess we could trim a slime. I don't want to trim a slime though. <laughs> I'll trim a oh, I can't trim a Besage you. Uh I will trim a mana crypt. And a sapphire. Got him. Submit. Bad cards. <laughs> All right, we are gonna reprioritize our hand looking for bizarre uh, wastelands. We didn't find any wastelands. I'm sure it's legacy playable. Legacy has all kinds of dumb ancient tomb decks. This is just a dumb ancient tomb deck. Seems totally reasonable to be good in legacy. Be the swarm wasteland. I mean, I have a surgical. I don't know. This hand's not that good, but I can always just, like, discard slimes to bizarre. So, no, you don't understand, chat. We surgical our own. If they surgical us, we surgical our slime and get rid of like half our slimes. What was that? That was not good. I didn't break anything. All right, I don't have a bizarre in this hand, but I have a—I mean, I don't have a wasteland in this hand, but I have a bizarre, so it's gotta be fine, right? <sighs> Let's 
Surgical is just upside, baby. Also, like, if our opponent ley lines us, it just slimes still count, baby. No problem. All right. What do you got for us, opponent? Did they even see a bizarre in game one? They didn't see a bizarre, right? They probably think we're stompy. We're going to hit him with the bizarre of our own. All right, double root walla wasteland. Sure. Lizard wizard opponent is also they got the good art or the good frame bizarre. Kind of cheating. Any hollow boys? We're pretty far off from casting slime, so a hollow boy would be pretty strong. Grief. Uh, I'm not going to surgical wasteland, so if my opponent wants to take the surgical. Well, that's fine. They already have a wasteland in exile. I don't think I care. I got a scooz. Yo, Ian, why'd you got to destroy us like that? Very uncool of you. Should have let the slimes win. All right, surgical has been taken. Po seems pretty. I mean, we're we're one and one against Po, so I don't know. Oh, they have a hollow boy as well. Not good. Not good. Maybe we'll draw a black lotus. A strip mine. See, I would be all about strip mining here if there wasn't six power in play for fun. All right, bizarre. I got our own boy. All right. All right. I will discard slime, slime, slime. <laughs> I'm so far away from casting slime. So. All right. Let's see what the opponent has now. An Orborg. Wait, that turns on. Oh, that's so good for us. Our bazaar is now a swamp and we can cast scavenging ooze. Wait, that's broken. Thanks, opponent. I'm going to just play a Scavenging Ooze. This card is real good against my opponent's tech, I think. <laughs> Let's go. I, I like what the opponent's cooking, though. Oh, oh, removal. Orcish Bowmaster successfully played around. <laughs> That's a problem. That's a problem. That is a problem. I kind of wish I had some slimes back. Another lizard wizard and a pox walker and immediately returning our pox their pox walker. Very strong. Uh, not ideal. Not ideal. Being on the draw, not good in magic, it turns out. All right. The, the scoos blocked their entire board. So we got that going for us. We got a new scoos coming. Uh, I think we strip mine this turn here. Uh, get rid of this bazaar, and then we'll just start eating some things. Definitely not activating our bazaar Baghdad anymore in this game. Simply drawing a single slime will put us in a very commanding board position. Yeah, just the walkers are going to get in. Okay. We're in a good spot until our opponent draws a Hogak. I'm going to eat your grief. 
Sweet. Raw. Mm -hmm. ba -ba 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 -da -da. Surgical extraction. Huh. Huh. Hmm. 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 Interesting. Should I just surgically extract Bizarre? I'm not even sure that's good. I mean, I, I, I have... I, I, they have six black creatures in play, so it's very hard for me to stop them from casting a Hogak if they want to cast a Hogak. Very, very hard for me to do that. Yes, we can, of course, use our surgical to make our slimes bigger, but I kind of need to draw some slimes first. I think what I'm going to do is draw step, remove their bazaars. I think I kind of want to get another ooze in play, to be perfectly honest, but I'm not 100% sure yet. I also want to keep eating, so... They have a grief and a blazing root walla. Their bazaars are now all gone. They have three Hogax in their deck, and that's kind of the only thing we're really worried about, right? Oh, my bazaar makes black mana. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 just, I didn't think about that. I didn't think about that. It's okay, I'm representing uh, Psycho Hollow One. No, I'm representing... Uh, Dismember. <laughs> we can spin it. Yes, I should. I definitely should have used my bazaar to make black mana and pay for surgical. I, that is definitely true. You are absolutely correct. All right, I will eat this hollow one. Uh, all right. Slime? If I draw a slime, I will definitely put a scooze under a thing. All right, I'm over it. I'm going to put a scooze under a thing. So the problem here is there's actually not enough creatures to eat, right? And even if I eat both stuff, both things from their yard, it doesn't stop a hollow one because I need to have less than. Like they could, oh, I guess they could. Yeah, they could just kill off their own Orborg. So I think what I do is I don't eat anything yet. I'm just going to lose this Poxwalkers, though, with this play. I really need a um a slime. But yeah, I can't stop them from playing a Hogak. So. I will eat the rest of their yard at the end of turn, though. That will actually help. Yeah, I mean, I I would be in a great spot if I could activate my bazaar. I wouldn't have to have three bazaars in play, but obviously we don't want to trigger the bow master. I guess right now in the end of combat, I could eat both of the things in their yard so that they if they like chose to attack with bow masters in a greedy way then I can still make it so they can't play a Hogak even if they play an Orborg and put an Orborg in the yard alright I mean we're still losing on board but we have so many good slime draws we actually can hard cast a hollow one as well Wasteland, sure. We know their whole hand. They might wasteland our tropical island. Keep us off of extra green mana. Keep us off of blue mana. Not that blue mana is very good here. Time walk is bad. Ancestral is very bad. They don't know that. They don't know what blue is in our deck. They can guess, though. 
I think we just want to draw slime. And then, uh, then we're in a good spot. I mean, we still have a 3 1 death touch. It's kind of annoying, but. There's a slime. All right. That's a 5 5. 6 6. What am I missing? Oh, I'm missing the slimes that are in exile. No, wait. What am I missing? There's three slimes in the yard. Oh, there's a scavenging ooze in play. So, total number of slimes in exile. Three slimes in my graveyard plus two. What am I missing here? Ah, whatever, man. I, I can't count. There's, a, there's nothing in exile. This is revealed. Ah, the chrome box. Yes, the chrome box. Okay. All right. That makes sense. The question is, what am I trading for this box walkers when they attack with it? I guess I'm just trading my, my ooze token. Because I'm still winning on board. <laughs> Mill myself with bizarre. Not the strongest strategy. With the Orcish Bowmasters in play. I think I just chump with the spirit, the ooze token, eat the pox walkers. Seems like that would be the best play here. Oh, they're coming in. All right. So I'm thinking we eat the yeah. <laughs> opponent is rethinking their plan. All right, so I'm thinking it's just uh, block with the ooze and then eat this pox walker. I don't know if there's any reason not to just eat it in combat. All right. This ooze change from endurances look kind of good, huh? I was really excited once I learned that ooze counted for slime. Black mana. We know my opponent has a grief, a root walla, and an orborg. A new orborg. Oh, they're gonna cast a grief? They can't cast a grief. We can't block a grief though. That thing is unblockable. Oh, a new bowmaster. I see. I see. Is Yavamaya bad in this deck? No, but lots of cards would be nice. There's only so much room. Wait, what just happened? Oh, my opponent wastelanded their own Urborg to turn off <laughs> the turn off. <laughs> oh, that's sick. I'm just going to hold this Ancient Doom. They'll have no idea. Can't really stop my opponent from drawing a Hogak still. I mean, I can. I can eat two things right away. I know they have a Root Wall and a Grief. If my opponent attacks, yeah, I think I'm supposed to stop them from being able to cast a Hogak. I guess if they draw a black card, they can... Oh, they drew a Hogak. They can't, they can't cast Hogak, right? Oh, it costs seven? Ah, oh, I can actually... I'm not actually able to stop them. That's unfortunate. Uh, I thought it cost eight. I know it... I knew, I knew it didn't cost eight, but I thought it cost eight. So this thing is going to hit me for eight, and I'm going to die, right? I can eat two things. I can eat one thing and block and six and then die? If I activate Bazaar, can I get anything that will help? If I get a slime, it's not even big enough. I think we're just dead, right? I think we're just deterministically dead here. My opponent did top deck one of their three Hogax, which is really unlucky for me, I would say. I think I think we just got a little unlucky, unfortunately. Alright, I'm going to concede this game. I'm not seeing a way out. 
opponent drew significantly better than we did there, so. Uh, do we, I mean, we don't really have better cards to bring in to, like, replace Bizarre Hollow ones, so we just have to be very careful with how we choose to proceed forward. Like, we took away our opponent's Bizarre of Baghdad, and they just, like, happened to draw one of the three cards that was left in their deck that did anything. I guess a Feed the Swarm would have been pretty... I mean, they had no mana left. Like, it, it's really, like, the only card they can draw that has any relevance in the game is Hogak, and they drew it, so. It do be like that sometimes. Uh, we have a Wasteland, a Besaju, a Surgical, three Slimes, and a Spirit Guide. I feel like this hand's not good enough. Like, what's our line? We go Wasteland Pass, and then they play a Bazaar, make a bunch of free mana. We Wasteland them. We don't have enough mana to play a Slime. We play Besaju. We cast a single Slime. But we're, like, probably taxed into Surgical in their Bazaar. So it's not even like we could just go Surgical, all of our other Slimes, cast a Slime, and make a 10-10. Like, it's not going to be good enough, probably. It might be good enough. But if we get Grief, we, they just take our Spirit Guide. It's super bad for us. Feels really hard to keep this hand. It's not really doing anything powerful. I mean, it's not bad. Like, it's not bad. Like, it has a Wasteland. A Wasteland is very important in this matchup for sure. All right, whatever. Let's keep it. It's fine. Also, this hand gets better the more cards they mulligan to as well. Vengevine, Grief, Feed the Swarm, Hollow One, Mulligan to six. I like opponent's deck. Opponent's deck's cool. All right, they kept a six card hand, which seems a little rough for me. Probably was hoping for a little more mulligans from the opponent. Wasteland of their own. Somehow that's worse for me than a bazaar. <laughs> I think that's actively worse for me. But I don't think I was supposed to play Besage you first. Maybe I was. Hollow One is definitely one of the worst possible draws in my entire deck. So that's good. I guess we're like priced into Big Slime. I mean, we have to draw a mana to even do that, but I feel like that's our only way out in this game now. As we draw a mana, we cast a slime, and then we surgical our all of our other slimes, draw another mana, and cast a big slime. It's kind of asking for a lot. Double Ruwala Urborg. Like, if we get Grief, they just take our Surgical Extraction. Mana, 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 mana. Mana, I drew a slime. That's the worst draw new. No. All right. We're going to lose now. I didn't really expect Wasteland Wasteland. And I could have played around it by playing Besaju first. So it is my fault. Definitely a misplay. I just didn't think about something like that happening. That's that's not actually good news. Because we were about to take all of them out of our deck if we just hit a land. Yeah. I don't think we... I mean, we really needed to tempo into this. Lots, a lot of lizards. They can technically cast a Hogak right here. I'm not even sure Black Lotus is good enough.
Like they cast a Hogak here. Are we fat? We're not fast enough, right? Yeah, I guess keeping this hand was a bit optimistic. I wonder if they would have wastelanded us if we had simply played a Pesaju instead of a wasteland, though. I mean, in round one, game one, we we serum powdered away Black Lotus Ancestral, and I think it was correct. So our deck operates on a bit of a different axis. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured was happening. What is going on? Uh, okay. Uh, draw. Bizarre is my best draw. Bizarre. Oh. Okay. Now I want that Black Lotus. Two hollow ones. Well. At the very least, we get to ditch three slime against humanity and play two hollow ones. So. That's something. Actually, we might be in okay spot now. We could just double block on this Hogak. Sure, they can recast, but that buys us a lot of time. And then if we hit any mana source, we surgical and play an infinitely large slime. Not infinitely large. It's going to be, what, like a 10-10 slime? I guess even a 10-10 slime might not just be good. Might not be good enough. Sorry, we're going in with everyone. If they do this, like, my best play is just block two root wallas, right? Two green root wallas. Then they won't be able to, like, recast their Hogak. Okay, I'm about to say, I'm like, that, that attack doesn't make sense to me. I think I'm okay if they just, like, spend their turn discarding cards and replaying a Hogak. I think that's okay with me. Like, I'm gonna have big slimes coming. I hope. They do have Feed the Swarm, but that's, like... Oh, it's verse for mana value. God damn, it kills my thing and doesn't do it. I can't do anything about it. All right. The good news is here they draw two up to six, down to three, and then they need to use all three cards they pitch plus their four creatures to replay a Hogak. So we basically bought a turn with this hollow one. I mean, we could surgical Gak. I just don't know if we can win if we do that. Like, I, I understand that that's a decent play, but like then we have to beat the four Ruals on board. I guess maybe these are five fives now, so maybe we don't need a huge thing. I probably should have done this before they activated. I'm lucky they have a root walla. So yeah, I guess this is correct. This is true. I mean, everything's going to be bigger than what they have right now. Two bowmasters. That's good to know. They're going to have that up. Oh, but if they play the Orborg, it means we can cast slime, so... Yeah, this is better. So I, I needed to, in response to Bazaar of Baghdad, uh, Surgical. This was a bad Surgical timing. We just got lucky that my opponent hit a Root Walla. I mean, if they didn't hit a Root Walla, then... Okay, so yeah, we just never activate Bazaar again, because we know their hand is two Root Walla, uh, two um, Bowmasters, and we just start casting Slimes. Did my opponent miss their attack as well? I think they missed their attack. Yeah, that was a bad surgical timing, though. Don't do that surgical timing. Oh, they attacked with Gak, and we blocked, and... Okay, you're right. 
Mm-hmm. All right. I mean, we just simply never. I mean, so far, my opponent's Orborg has been great for us. They're going to go down, up to four, down to one. They hit a Rootwalla, and they kept their Bowmaster. I mean, they're pretty wide. They are pretty wide. I'm glad we blocked the Gak. All right, we'll just start picking off green Rootwallas. They're so wide. Holy moly. They just hit like half of... They hit six of their eight Rootwallas in their first 28 cards. Isn't that a little, uh, a little unlu unlucky? <laughs> All right. I mean, I have two ooze. Is this enough? They play another Bowmaster. I go to 11. They have eight attackers. I go to five. And then I go to... I'm losing. I need to draw another one. I have to draw one more blocker to not lose. This is lost on board, right? I need to draw another blocker, which seems like it'd be very hard to do. I don't have ooze. In, I don't have. I don't have um, oof in my deck. Yeah, this looks really bad. Oh, they're not going to attack with bowmasters. That makes things a lot better for me, right? I'm just blocking the two power and another ooze. And I'm only taking four. Yeah, that's a lot better for me. Okay. I mean, maybe they don't want me to turn on Bazaar, but like Bazaar doesn't matter at this point. Is this a lethal attack? This is 11 damage. This is 22 damage. This is lethal? Holy moly. Oh no, they have a Cabal Pit. So, if they don't block, it's lethal. Because they don't have seven cards in their yard. So, if they block on this first attack, it's not lethal. But if they block, if they do block on this first attack, I actually can't attack back because it's no longer lethal. That's, that's crazy. They actually had to chump block here with a Bowmaster to prevent Time Walk from being lethal. Oh, they have... No, they can't use Bazaar. Oh, they can use Bazaar as well. Ah, shit. I thought this cost one and a black. Okay, this only costs a black. All right, so then this is not lethal, right? Because they can just chump with one. But I'm not dead on the swing back, so I'm going to do it, right? <laughs> That's a good one, too. Wait, this, this card is so cool, though. It seems pretty strong. So they have to use their pit, and they have to chump with one. I guess it, technically if they hit another root wall, uh, that wouldn't matter, because they have to still have to use their... Yeah, if they hit another root wall, they wouldn't have to jump with any Bowmasters. Uh, yeah, okay. Nine, they jump with one Bowmaster. Well, this isn't even a lethal attack, so it's not even a big deal. And I got a Scooze. Don't think there's any reason to activate this right now either. Looks like a win, Trample. Big Tramplers. Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> Believers are getting paid out. 
You do love to see it. Woo. All right, round four, two and one. Opponent has a cat. I have a turn one slime. <laughs> no worries, fire truck. Your Urborgs were great for me. I am very happy that you decided to turn my lands into swamps. Even though I did miss the surgical save to life. Silly me. Bobble. Look at me, look at you. Look at you. Pass? Pass? Bobble, look at me, me. What? Okay. I have a surgical extraction. All right. Well, I am going to uh, Chrome Mox a slime against humanity. And then I'm going to play Sapphire. And then I'm going to play Wasteland. And then I'm going to play slime against humanity. Unfortunately, I had to put a slime under the chrome mock, so I, this is not going to be like an 11-11, because I could have surgical the slime, but... We'll take a 3-3, three, three, right? We have double wasteland, we got a hollow one we could cycle. Okay, force on slime, pitching Lorien, sure. You got it. Another slime, if we draw it, we can surgical a bunch of slimes out of our deck and make a very large slime. Not always the best line, but it is a line that we have at our disposal here. We can pick and choose how large we'd like to make our slime as well. Elvish Spirit Guide. That certainly looks like a hollow one to me. <laughs> Turn two hollow one, five mana. Let's do it. <laughs> no? No? Not allowed? Basic Island. Brainstorm. You scared? I think opponent's scared, chap. Mm. Yeah, I guess we would try to make like a 9-9 nine -nine slime, right? Florian revealed. It's entered the exiles. Oh, wait, they forced it. So they have three cards left in hand? And I have two wastelands? Doesn't look good for them. They have one card left in hand? They know my top card. Is it a slime? It's a chrome box. That feels bad, but is what it is do i want to strip mine this island uh, i don't think so box pearl and box jet by luris jeez might have to oh and box opal yeah, this is the exact same thing you did to me, Ian. Just on color pearl jet. I'm going to have to surgically extract Mishra's bobble, it looks like. Kind of unfortunate. Ancient tomb, huh? Oh, uh, I guess i can do it i could get negated if i do it during draw stuff i guess it's just better to do it now so i can't get like flustered or negated right is this another po deck wow am i an influencer or what's going on here this is the third matchup against po Okay, it's not good for me. It's not good for me. You know they're just going to drop PL off the top and murder me. I guess I could waste on this island to prevent that. Then they'll just like play a saga off the top. Mm -hmm. 
Technically, there are more POs than Sagas. All right, I'll just wasteland this. What does that do? You have a, I know what you have in hand. You have a Lurus in hand. Don't float a mana. Why, why are you acting like you have something? You don't have anything. <laughs> they they are not pre-boarded for slimes with thing in the eyes, no. All right, there's a slime. Big. Unfortunately, it's not huge because we didn't get to surgical our own slimes. But I had to make sure my opponent wasn't bobble looping us. All right, soul ring. A second slime here lets me attack. That is not a second slime. So currently attacking is not very good for me. I deal them four and then they gain three back and hit me for three. Yeah. They have like so many draws that kill me on the spot though. They just have so many draws that kill me on the spot. P.O. is dead. Dress, dress down is probably good enough. Lorien revealed is good enough. Uh, so if I take it, I take one. And if I block, I take one. And this gets bigger. Okay. I take it. Slime? All right. Slime. So attack. This is my best draw. Slimes are big. Okay. If my opponent bricks and I draw another slime, are we winning? They bricked. Are we drawing a slime? So now they're going to hold the Bowmaster back. Slime? We drew a Bazaar of Baghdad. So I can't activate that yet because I only have one card in hand. We have like 15, 13, 14, some number large, some large number. So I assume we just attack with our five power slime. Well, maybe we attack with our four power slime because that way I can... They, if they chump with Bone Masters and I block their Lurus, I wouldn't lose my other slime. But I... Yeah. Because if I... Well, no, they can't replay Lurus. So I should just attack with a 5 power slime. It has Trample, so... Oh, we're going to block with the crew? Is the crew? Whoa! <laughs> I accept. I, I don't even hate this play from my opponent because my opponent's just drawing to P.O. or Lorian, really. Like, they don't actually care about Lurus. Uh, all right. I mean, they have P.O. and Lurus, and, uh, Lor sorry, P.O. and Lorian revealed and Time Twister and Ancestral and Demonic and Dress Down and Sensei's Top and Saga and Vamp. It's a lot of good cards. Another slime. Yeah. I like that. Well, you can see that at the bottom left in your screen. I hope. Could be wrong. <laughs> they could have hard cast force, I guess. Oh, this is going to play as a lethal attacker in play, so... Okay, we have lethal on the table. Opponent needs to brick one more time. Oh, is it vamp? Oh, it was bowmaster. Okay, so not activating bizarre. Very good for me. So now we no longer have lethal on the table, though. So now my opponent still has an extra draw for Lorian and P.O. Oh, they hit demonic. We lost. Ah, oh, so sad. There was just so many draws that won them the game immediately, so... They went Twister? I guess. Is that actually better? Is that better than just POing? Maybe. I guess POing, they don't have any answers to slime in their deck. I don't know. PO for five with full Moxon. 
Like, yeah, I have to chump this orc army. But, like, I could draw Slime Time Walk. Can I afford to Vigor here? Not really. Maybe they'll just draw a PO anyways. Yeah, unfortunately that's lethal, so I do have to chump that. My opponent drawing the demonic on the last turn was not great. I mean, I guess it wasn't the last turn because I drew the, the bowmaster, so. Yeah, unfortunate. So we're definitely going to have to activate Bazaar. Uh, Sage you. Because we need a slime. Yeah. All right, I'm going to activate my Bazaar of Baghdad. I guess I could have a second Bowmaster. Seems good. All right, we're dead. Uh, cool. <sighs> Unfortunate. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing we did in the other matchups. We're gonna board out Bizarre, and we're gonna board out Hollow One, and we're gonna board in Collect Roof, Pick Your Poison, and mind break trap and we're gonna board out surgical and we're gonna board in scoos and then we're gonna hit submit i don't know i keep making these really good decks and then losing to them in, in leagues very unfortunate this is my curse suffering from success All right, they got a cap. Game two should get a bit better for me, but not that much better. My opponent's deck is uh, extremely well constructed. <laughs> I'm gonna probably be playing that deck this weekend for what it's worth in the super and in the uh, paper event, so. I don't know exactly which build I want to use. I kind of don't think I want to use a Bowmaster build. I don't really want a proxy Bowmaster, though. <laughs> I don't think my Lorians are coming in in time. I don't feel like going to pick them up for my friend, so I might have to proxy those anyways. I mean, I'm probably playing PO in the Super and in Paper. I want to get that NYC buy. Seems very important. It's gonna be a long Saturday. It takes forever to get to where I need to go. What do I want to do here? Ooh, ooh. I mean, I guess I can. I can just start with a slime, and then I can oof them with wasteland. Seems fine, I guess. Yeah, this is okay. Start with the little slime. Where are my serum powders? That was the way we were winning our round one. Five mana, uh, five five on turn one was how we were winning, not this two man, <laughs> two two. Boring. It's okay. We got a wasteland. We got an oof. We got to pick your poison. Got some good options here. Saga gaming. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. You got it, opponent. This is, what the? F Come on, man. <laughs> Doesn't play collector roof. Opponent plays Black Lotus Soul Ring. <laughs> all right, okay, okay, all right. You bested us. 
You're too good. Okay. Uh, yeah. Technically, I also have Black Lotus Ancestral in my deck. Just saying. I did. I did. I did powder away Black Lotus Ancestral earlier today, though. So I'm probably not allowed to complain. <laughs> I mean, it's my own fault, right? I should have played Collector if on turn one. How greedy. They put Luris in hand and cycled. Well, that wasn't the worst. That could have gone way worse. For some reason, I don't think my Pick Your Poison is going to resolve, but... I'm kind of I'm thinking it's, it's not going to work out. Discard to hand size. Discards an Orcish Bowmaster. That's a really good draw, isn't it? Each opponent sacrifices an enchantment. How does that make you feel, opponent? Sweet. Oop, there it is. Any any oof enjoyers? Any IMAX oof in chat? Ah, they did not force of will pick your poison, huh? Unlucky. Not ideal. Yeah, I think this card's pretty sweet. I'm always down to one for one remove a, so a saga. It's very, very high value. Mana Crypt, not the best draw. Not gonna lie to you right now. This person is disciplined. They float no matter what. No possible play in the entire deck, still floating. Known hand, still floating. <laughs> <laughs> I respect it. Alright. Not good for the home team here. My opponent has a lot of action left, and we got not a lot going on. Oof and Wasteland are our best draws, probably. Okay, I see you. If they have a Bowmaster, I can't attack, unfortunately. Oh, they have a Snuff Out. I see. Okay. They have a snuff out and a bowmaster? Ah. Yes, I see. Hmm. Mm hmm. Well, it turns off my bazaar draws. Mm -hmm. They found an on color moxin. Seems strong. Oh, I boarded it out. True. I'm so smart. Good job, Pass Justin. All right, I need a slime. That's an Elvish Spirit Guide. That is like a slime, except not remotely like a slime. Uh, I think we're going to die. Unfortunately, we're only going to be one and three versus uh, my PO deck here. Not, not great. I need to stop making good decks. It's hampering my fun. My opponent has an embarrassing amount of riches considering they're willing to force of will my gray ogre, but... Slime? Slime? Ugh. Why? Deck? There's... There's like 15 slimes in my deck. What is this? You're gonna cycle? For a Lorien revealed? You're nuts! You're crazy! Opponent, what? I guess they get a Luris, so that's pretty good.
I guess it's just correct. It's fine. They just loot baubles and black lotuses, and it's totally free. No problem. God, it's so sad, man. It's so sad. My deck is too good. All right, that's okay. Slime? Oh, I did not mean to... No, whatever. Uh, I guess I'll play another turn. Doesn't hurt, right? I, the problem is my slime is not even that big right now. It's like a 3-3. Three, three. Because I haven't drawn any slimes this game. I've drawn all wastelands, which is not a bad thing. <sighs> Sad. Wait, is this not round four? Or this is round four? Oh, we can do a prediction for round five now. Nice. Do they have another Bowmaster? Yeah, they do have another Bowmaster in yard. Can't even block. Yeah, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. You got it. Very nice. Man, they're at eight life. So close. Oof, there it is. A little late, but not bad, actually. Turns off all of their mana and their bobble. They have another force? Oh, <laughs> they have three. That was their draw for turn. Their draw for turn was force. I was about to turn off everything. They wouldn't have been able to cast Bowmasters back from their yard. I was actually just straight up winning. I would have turned off Bobble, turned off Black Lotus. <laughs> no, last turn they didn't Bobble. They brought back a Bowmasters. <laughs> That that oof was actively winning. I was going to be winning on board with that collector oof. That's crazy. All right. So be it. All right. Fifth and final round with the slimes. Opponent. Ooh, what is this? This hand is a classic powder away two slimes and ancestral recall and time walk. A classic. All right, keep Bazaar of Baghdad, I guess. Sure. <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> this hand doesn't do anything, but it does have Bazaar, so. How bad can it really be? We do have Surgical and Vigor. If our opponent is on Tinker Breach, like the bot says it might be, then just have some game. All right. Uh, let's go Bizarre Activate. See if what we can find here. Hollow one? Cool. So let's get rid of a Bizarre, and let's get rid of a... Hmm, this is tough. I think a tropical island and a chrome box, maybe. And I got a hollow one. Don't green card for vigor. Chat. Workshop. Ring? Lodestone. Okay. Okay, interesting. How do we want to play this out? All right, well, now I have... I can get rid of my surgical. Huh. Besaju, Ancient Tomb, Wasteland, their workshop. Attack, probably. I kind of want them to trade, and then I can just play a slime. Mm, they're not willing to trade. All right. Probably not activating Bizarre for the rest of this game. We've kind of gotten what we wanted out of it. A Saga? That's quite unfortunate. 
and a revoker. All right, so we're going to make green mana and go vigoring here. I guess we let them name first. We're going to kill Saga Lodestone. Unfortunately, it means we lost our ability to slime, but the opponent has Revoker for Lotus. They have Revoker for Lotus. Chrome Mox has been named. And we blow up some of their stuff. All right. Well... They have three cards left in hand. If they're good, our likelihood of winning this game is not very high. Upkeep Bazaar to pitch slimes if we draw them. And then we're probably not activating slime for the rest of the game. We might want to play the Sapphire so that he doesn't get caught underneath a sphere. It does expose it to, obviously, another Revoker, but... Ancient Tomb, three cards in hand. Nettle Cyst. Nettle Cyst. It's a 3-3. Three, three. They're going to double block? No, they're not going to double block. So they're going to take another four. Okay. Uh, Upkeep Bazaar again. Lose another Slime. Draw. Island. Island we can hold. Attack. Down to six. I guess they could technically chump with the nettle says if they wanted to. I don't see any good reason to do that. Patchwork as a one one taking two damage and then holding everything back. Now this nettle is just straight up trades. Draw, slime, play a land, pass, I assume. We didn't need a slime going to be bigger than this board. Don't see any good reason to attack and just like leave give them the ability to move. Ruby, make that a 2-2. Two, two. two cards in hand for the opponent. And a follow-up sphere resistance. That's annoying because it's going to make my slime further away. Are they going to get in with this? No. Draw. Drew a wasteland. Probably just keeping the land because I want to cast the slime. That's how we're going to win this game. Another artifact pumps this automaton to a 4-4. Four, four super problematic another ancient tomb that's good for me attacks no attacks interesting i drew another slime can't activate bizarre because i can't actually cast anything but like all our hollow one maybe so i think we just wait one more turn at least that way we could draw two, discard three, and still have the ability to play a slime plus a land. How big is our slime? Two in the yard, three in exile, so a seven seven. Not even that large. Opponent is 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 hitting a bunch of lands. Oh no. They just what do they have? Five, they're down to two life. They must have a Golos. Huh. Wow. So they get a saga. That could be just the end of it. Not good for me. Slime will have trample, but I'm going to probably need to wasteland for the saga. I've already used my Black Lotus, so it's not really like I can... I'm definitely making that trade if you want it. It's not even really like I can do a slime and... Yeah, please attack with that thing. Gosh, I need that in my life. Yes, that's great for me. Uh, still dead on board, though. Draw. Serum powder. Draw. Nothing. Close. Very close. Very, very close. 
All right. Uh, we got pick your poison. We got mind break trap. Um, I guess we're bringing mind break trap on the draw. So I just just pick your poison. Like collector if isn't actually good against my opponent's deck. So. Yeah, I guess it's just pick your poison and. Okay. Don't think this matchup should be too bad, but the way our draw lined up was like kind of rough against what they had going on. They had a really nice like aggro slanted draw. Just a lot of power really quickly. Sphere shops is what it's now called in the data. Basically, uh prison and 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 uh aggro shops that basically converge for the majority of deck lists maybe 90 plus percent of deck lists are within you know eight main deck cards so it doesn't make a lot of sense to have them be separate anymore so in the data now you'll see sphere shops and jewel shops and other shops withhold the right to put things that have spheres in other of course so this hand has three slimes, but no green mana. Lose an ancestral, but we're definitely powdering this. This hand has a hollow one, so hollow one bizarre. Oh, they have a leyline. Looks like they have a leyline. Leyline, we don't care about actually. Leyline doesn't stop our deck in any capacity, which is pretty funny. No, wait. So why was there that pause? Maybe they like chose not to reveal the ley line. I don't know. Kind of odd. Activate my bazaar. And then pitching serum powder. Wasteland and chrome mox. And then just leave my with green cards. That seems like it'd be correct. I guess if I get tabernacled on turn one. I could have, I can save one, but I could have had a Wasteland. But I think having more green cards is better. Maybe it would have been better to hold Wasteland and then pitch, um, pitch Slime, maybe? I don't know. This is eight free power plus an interactive spell, which is basically all you can ask for from this kind of draw. So, definitely not un unhappy. It feels winnable, but shops can go shopsing. So, all right, workshop. Patchwork automaton, not a very force of vigorable target. Part of the reason why it's so good, and that's it. Just patchwork go. Interesting, very interesting. Chrome Mox. Hmm. guess we'll just play a, a slime under a chrome box does that help me though i guess it like helps me against a tabernacle they didn't play any moxes on turn one so how much stuff can they possibly have double workshop this is a worm coil engine a worm coil engine is very annoying, isn't it? It's a lodestone golem. Okay. That we can kill. And a sphere. So we can't kill both a sphere and a lodestone golem with our force of vigor. Do we want to just kill lodestone golem? Probably. Make sure when you do this chat, you do not target the Patchwork Automaton or the ward ability will counter your spell. Oh, I should end step Bizarre Activation. This is a 3-3. Three, three. They're going to go to 4. They're attacking. Uh, Ancient Tomb Mana Crypt. Time Walk Vigor. 
tropical. All right. Unfortunately, if they just play a creature, we're basically brick walled here. No, they didn't have a creature. Wow. What do they have? I don't understand, but I'll take it. Do we want to bring in Mind Break Trap on the draw? Nah, that's a coward's move. Resubmit. Handful of ley lines that they chose not to put into play. All right, here we go. This is probably a keep, but it's very low power. I can't imagine mulliganing it, though. We haven't really been able to execute slimes against our opponent so far. It is a pretty high power card, so. All right, seven card keep, seven card keep. Workshop again. I guess we had a bizarre again, huh? Ooh, if this is the only artifact they play, ah, damn it. It would have been pretty, pretty powerful if they went automaton pass again. We would have been able to pick it. We're probably supposed to just pick off the Sapphire because, like, what else are we doing with this mana, right? I mean, I could Wasteland them, but I, I don't think that's that good. I think we should just use our mana efficiently here. I don't really feel like a Bazaar does anything. I kind of want to build out my mana. Like, next turn, if they don't Sphere us, we could go Strip Mine Time Walk, untap. Maybe Visage Slime, maybe Strip Mine Plus, something, something, Wasteland. Yeah, I guess that's super annoying. Maybe I should have led with Visage you, but it's kind of hard to lead with Visage you. Like, this is a removal spell. I don't really have that many of those. Man, Patchwork Automaton plus Nettlesis is just so good. Wait, what can I... I can make opponent... Yeah, I don't know. All right, make an opponent sack an artifact. Pick your favorite opponent. Probably picks a patchwork to keep, I would assume. Pick your poison, though. And kind of nice. Oh, they kept the nettle cyst around. Interesting. Another nettle cyst. All right, well, now I need to draw vigor. And an Ancient Tomb. And a Sphere. Jesus. Okay. Yeah, we definitely need to draw Force of Vigor. But I think if we draw Force of Vigor, we're actually in a pretty convincing spot. Activate Bazaar. Did not draw Force of Vigor. So now I think we need to get Slimes going. So we probably want to go Time Walk. Strip mine spirit guide away. No, that's like not good either, is it? Because a slime costs four. And we haven't powdered anyone. We're just so far behind because this card is so strong. I mean, we're going to have to hope we draw vigor, right? Feels like that's the only way. I think I have to do one slime, one time walk, and one... Wasteland, and then put a Spirit Guide under a Chrome Box so that we can actually have permanent advanced mana. I guess I can put a, a Slime under a Chrome Box, which would let me draw another Slime next turn to go with my Land Spirit Guide. Yeah, maybe that's the best play. That would give me... Ugh. Get you a Saga off the top? And they have another Nettle Cyst? <laughs> All right. Well, this is why you play Nettle Cyst. But holy shit, we are dead. We are very, very dead. Uh, 
Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's the kind of draw that's good against me for sure. It's not like I have Seeds of Innocence in my deck. We could play Seeds of Innocence, though. All right. Non-believers got there in the second round, so not a bad showing, all things considered. A 2-3. Um, I think getting a 2-3 with this deck is... I'm not I'm not upset about that. I think we did do the thing and we did that in the beginning, which is perfect for for YouTube. <laughs> we started off the tournament with a turn one five five off of our slime serum powder action, and that's all we really came here for. So I we, I had fun. Deck was cool. Uh but yeah. Uh I'm hoping that the next time I get to a Wednesday night stream, I will have Poxwalkers not bugged. Or I guess, you know, therapy not bugged, one might say. Uh, and then we'll get to do some Ponks Walkers action. I also have some donation deck lists coming up, so more interesting content coming your way. I will be streaming a uh, uh, high level, uh, high seriousness tournament on Sunday. It was a super RCQ, so look forward to that if you like the high level, try hard gameplay. Uh, and of course, more content like this on my YouTube channel every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. See you then.